internet has become a dominant force in popular culture, bringing about new trends and stereotypes that have become widely known. Cats in particular have become the subject of viral videos and memes on the internet, with their stereotype as destructive and evil creatures being diffused through this medium. Due to the growth and viral nature of the internet culture, this one-dimensional depiction of cats has become well known, even extending into the video game realm. Cat Lateral Damage is a video game that draws on the internet's stereotypical perception of cats. As the punny title suggests, Cat Lateral Damage is a game all about a cat's capability for collateral damage. The player takes on a kitten's perspective and has the sole objective of swiping the owner's belongings down. Each level has a required number of objects swiped down in order to move on, as well as a time limit to increase the difficulty. As a quick overview of the controls and cat lateral damage, in order to move, the player uses the A, W, D, S keys. To look around, the mouse is used, and to swipe left or right, the player must right or left click the mouse. And to jump, the spacebar is pressed. Considering the goal of the game is to take down as many objects as possible in a specific amount of time, the focus of the game is clearly placed on destruction, thus superimposing a specific kind of image of cats onto the player. Cat lateral damage portrays cats by highlighting the well-known stereotype that cats are capable of destruction and enjoy scheming against their owners. However, cat lateral damage adds a twist to the destructive cat stereotype by bestowing childlike qualities to the kitten character, helping to legitimize and justify the cat's behavior. The limited set of actions that are solely for the purpose of wreaking havoc indicates that the makers of cat lateral damage intended to represent cats as destructive creatures, which is exactly what cats are notorious for on the internet. This aspect of cats is undoubtedly entertaining for those perusing the internet and it therefore makes sense that this stereotype was encouraged through the pervasive cat memes and videos. The game also allows for the obtaining of power-ups in later levels, which can make the cat speed up or swipe faster. These are all synthetic ways of bettering the cat's actions, thereby placing a heavier emphasis on achieving the sole goal of causing as much physical damage in the house as possible. In addition, some of the thought bubble text boxes that appear before every level assist in exhibiting the common perception of cats as evil. For example, the text before the first level says, I'm feeling destructive today. Those humans will pay. The kitten's thoughts go right along with the vengeful personality the internet has given to cats, emphasizing that people see destructiveness as part of a cat's core being, something inseparable from its entity. The makers of cat lateral damage keep the kitten focused on destruction for entertainment value, drawing in people who are amused by the cat memes and videos that promote the destructive cat stereotype. The interesting thing about critiquing a video game creator's point is that it could easily be just that the creator of the video game was meeting the wants of society. Often, people who play video games desire simplicity and the superficial focus of cat lateral damage on simply causing mayhem is something that is bound to please players. Therefore, this game may simply be a feasible way to meet the needs of an industry, able to be met by playing on the existing stereotypes that exist in the minds of any person who has stumbled upon cat-related media. By feeding into the image of cats as destructive and narrow-minded, kittens seemingly only focusing on causing ripples in the owner's everyday life, the players willingly take on the role as a kitten and want to be the best possible kitten by destroying the most. While this may be the case for the player's motive for playing, the depth and cat lateral damage goes beyond the superficial need to portray a kitten's societal image. The layers in cat lateral damage are stumbled upon as cat lateral damage continues to attract the audience and players advance deeper and deeper into the game. The depth that exists in this video game goes against the previously mentioned perspective that cat lateral damage simply exists as a feasible way of feeding into the cat stereotype and thus gives cat lateral damage a cutting edge in the gaming industry. The game makers show a new side to the seemingly one-dimensional kitten character by giving it characteristics commonly associated with those of children. When observing the living room, it becomes obvious that the kitten acts as a substitute for the owner's child. On the living room wall, a portrait of the kitten takes the place of what would typically be a family or child photograph. The game makers seem to highlight another cat-related topic of the internet, a childless, crazy cat lady or simply an owner. This pokes some fun at the internet's idea of cats while also emphasizing the parallels between cats and children. Visually, the kitten is very innocent 
looking and cute. When the kitten jumps into the box to finish a level, it looks especially small and reminiscent of that of a child. But similar to a child going through his or her terrible twos, the kitten is cute yet evil for making a mess in the home. The kitten's destructive tendencies can be compared to that of a child's tantrum. Most times, a child throws a tantrum for some reason, and in the same way, cat lateral damage shows that the kitten is causing trouble in the house for reasons as well. By portraying that the kitten has motive, the actions that the kitten takes in causing mayhem seem justified. This is really important to realize because it draws on the idea that the kitten has a human-like subconscious. It feels neglected and retaliates in a way that reflects just how the kitten feels. While some text boxes before levels support the internet view of cats, others reveal the previously alluded justification behind the cat's destructive actions. For instance, one text box before a level is a complaint by the kitten about how its owner didn't clean its litter box, which is why the kitten wants to be destructive. This shows that the cat's actions are not completely unwarranted and are rather understandable. This oddly shines a slightly more complex perspective on cats, because they seem to understand that the human has wronged them and are able to find actions in return that would ultimately wrong the human as well. The kitten's text box also illustrates that the kitten feels ignored by its owners, similarly to the way a child would feel overlooked by its parents. Through a human perspective, the owner neglecting to clean the litter box can be related to a parent forgetting to change their child's diaper in a timely manner, leading to the kitten acting out in a toddler-like tantrum in order to receive attention. By giving the kitten a childlike mentality and reasons for its misbehavior, the makers of cat lateral damage make the character more relatable to its audience and sends a message that cats aren't just house-destroying machines that have no motive or logic. In conclusion, cat lateral damage is not the game it appears to be at surface level. Although seemingly simple and focused on the internet-born cliché that cats are creatures that wreck havoc for no reason, cat lateral damage actually brings up the idea that cats, like children, have rationale behind their actions. The game makers attract an audience by basing the game on the popular internet destructive cat trend and then pose a new view of cats as logical, legitimizing their behavior. By doing this, cat lateral damage helps to open up people people's closed-minded view of cats and animals in general, suggesting that animals aren't one-dimensional, but rather creatures with thoughts behind their actions.